Hi. In this lecture, we will discuss about introduction to big data analytics. This is the contents of the presentation. We will discuss evolution of big data, sources of big data, what is big data, characteristics of big data, tools used in big data, what is big data analytics, what are the goals of big data analytics, challenges of big data and how Hadoop solves the problems of big data. Evolution of big data. The model of generating and consuming data has changed. Initially the data dissemination used to be in through newspapers or few medias. Now the data generation has changed. The social media has given power to each and every individual to generate the data. So in new model, it is not a specific organization or a specific company that will be generating that data. Every individual can generate data and consume data. So this is how the data, the uh, size of the data is being um, defined. The unit of data size. We know kilobytes, megabytes, gigabytes, terabytes, and pentabytes, hexabytes, zettabyte, and yottabyte. So we can see that in the exponentiation of uh, 2 to the power uh, 10 to, it has moved to 2 to the power 80. So this is the amount of data that is uh, getting generated. So you can see a typical examples of this size of data. So normal text data could be of 1 KB, whereas the videos that we are recording, uh, it will be in uh, MBs and it is getting replicated also. So evolution of big data by technology. As we can see, uh, initially we had analog phone and uh, now we use mobile phones, which is in di digital form. And uh, there was computer and it, it used to work in a standalone manner. Now we have cloud and we have cars. Now we have autonomous cars. So evolution of technology has changed in every part. When it comes to IoT, Internet of Things, it is uh, it will keep on generating data. As we can see that IoT involves a lot of sensors in each and every industry, in each and every field. We use sensors which generates lots and lots of data which is getting recorded. When it comes to social media, as we all know, so there are different social medias that are available instagram facebook x there uh, now the twitter has changed to x so youtube so we have various social medias that is generating large volume of data so each and every um, other factors that are generating data it will become a big data for example uh, when it comes to insurance, the uh, the client's uh, data, when it comes to retail industry, the customer's data. So uh, when it comes to healthcare, the patient's data. So everything is generate, getting generated in large volume, which becomes a big data. What are the sources of big data? So either it is human generated or it is machine generated. Human generated is whatever we do with our uh, digital devices through our phones or uh, computers or laptops, whatever we are creating that is human generated data. When it comes to machine generated data, all the logs that are being maintained, all the sensor data that is getting generated is a machine generated data. What is web data? It could be social media data or clickstream data. Uh, what do you mean by click, clickstream data? When users navigate a website, the clicks are logged. So each and every page that we are visiting is being logged. Each and every action that we are performing in a web page, it is getting logged. So you can see uh, we are almost generating 25 TBs of log data every day and 12, 12, more than 12 TBs of tweet every day.
So what are the sources of big data? The other sources, sensor data as we discussed. So wherever we have sensor, it continuously monitors and it produces so much data. For example, RFID tags are used. We have our mobile phones. We continuously monitor the traffic or through CCTV camera, we continuously monitor something. So these are all the data that are getting generated. Now what is big data? In the term for a collection of data sets so large and complex that it becomes difficult to process using traditional data processing applications. The volume of the data is very high. So the processing traditional processing methodology is not applicable to this volume of data. So we need to evolve and find how to process this big data. So we can see the real world example how much Facebook is generating, how much Yahoo how much Twitter is generating and uh, e-commerce website like eBay, how much data it is generating. Characteristics of big data. So we can see five V's here. Volume, Velocity, Variety, Value, Veracity. Volume is the amount of data that is getting generated. Velocity is how fast the data is getting updated and getting generated every minute for example uh, in any social media uh, a post can be done but uh, to the post uh, re response comments or likes are uh, getting updated each and every second so that is the velocity of the data Variety is data is in different structures now. So uh, we have structured data, we have semi-structured data, we have unstructured data. Structured data is basically in table format. Semi-structured is any format that could be processed. It has at least a structure like your XML file. And we have unstructured data like our audio, video or uh, any natural language that we use to give comments. Veracity is all the uncertainties that are present in the data. We don't get uh, exact data. There will be noise in the data which should be removed or uh, it should be normalized. Uh, so we make the data consistent. Value. So we have large volume of data. What we are trying to get from the large volume of data. So meaningful information such that I can use the insight for decision making. So volume, variety, velocity, value and veracity. What is the difference between traditional DB versus big data? Traditional database, the size of the traditional database is between TB to PB whereas uh, big data it is PB to zettabytes. Traditional data is structured, big data is maybe structured or unstructured. And here uh, we have centralized hardware, so everything we need to purchase and we need to deploy. Here it is based on distributed system, so we need not own everything. And uh, softwares are also schema based, here it is not schema based. What is big data analytics? So we discussed what is big data what is big data analytics so we need to examine the big data and we need to find the patterns correlations and whatever information that we could extract from the big data stages in big data analytics first we need to identify the problem then we need to design the data requirement then we need to pre-process the data then we will do the analytics and then we can visualize using graphs plots what challenges we have with big, big data? Strongly exponentially growing huge data sets. So the data set is continuously getting update, updated. So it is not possible to fit everything into a single system or a, a single server. Processing data having complex structure. So we discussed RDBMS as uh, or traditional database has a structure which is basically in uh, table format whereas big data is mostly uh, semi-structured or unstructured so to process this semi-structured and unstructured data we we need to find a mechanism processing data faster 
so since the volume of data is very large when we need to extract information uh, we need to process it very faster so every every big data needs to be processed very fast so hadoop is a solution for big data so hadoop is a framework that allows us to store and process large data sets in parallel and distributed fashion so we hadoop is one of the solution where we can store the data in a distributed fashion and we can process the data parallelly so hdfs is a hadoop file system mechanism which is used to store the data map reduces the processing mechanism which will pro parallelly process the data so how it is getting solved the problem is storing exponentially growing huge data sets so in hadoop we will not be storing it in a single system whereas we will be distributing it across multiple devices and the multiple devices are created as a cluster so if we need to uh, uh, update a new data or if a new volume of big volume of data comes then we can add a node to a cluster and we can update that data and we have unstructured data hdfs particularly follows write once read only read many methodology so it it will be faster processing data faster so since we do uh, parallel processing we can execute uh, our uh, task in multiple systems wherever the data is stored so we get faster results thank you